Hi everybody. I'm here to show you how I make my Puerto Rican coconut rum beverage. I always make this for Christmas. It's just a tradition that we always do. So yeah, it's really easy and simple. Um, I'm gonna show you. I make a lot. That's why I have this 1.75 liter of Bacardi um, Puerto Rican rum right there, which I got on sale. Woohoo! Okay, the, uh, right here I have. I'm gonna show you real quick. Okay, I have two cups of. I have two cups of Bacardi Puerto Rican rum, and right here I have a 15 ounce of coconut cream of coconut I mean you could use any brand it don't matter this is just what I use you know what, what we have at our market right here I have the cinnamon ground ground cinnamon right here I have the condensed milk not condensed milk haha -ha, hello <laughs> the evaporated milk this is a 12 ounce I'm gonna zoom in so you can see a 12 ounce Goya evaporated milk right here I have the condensed milk sweetened condensed milk this is a 14 ounce I have everything already open ready set as you can see I already have made some I just poured it into this bottle I like pouring them into glass bottles that's why I have those bottles right here this one's already made 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 look at me haha <laughs> already made yummy and I already tried it and it's just delicious so this is what I did I took two cups of water and I boiled it as you can see with three cinnamon sticks and of course is when you do you let it boil at least five to ten minutes let it cool down completely cool down it's nice and cold and so yes here we go I'm gonna show you the process I mean it's so simple I mean this is just how I make it of course everybody out there makes it different but trust me once you do this recipe I tried tons and it's like it just didn't come out right and then finally I, I said okay I'm just gonna try this on my own did it this way oh, so worth it trust me it doesn't come out too sweet I know some people don't like it too sweet that's why that's when this comes in you know I mean I don't like it too sweet I just don't I, I just can't uh -uh. all right so this is what we're gonna do take this right into the blender take your cinnamon water right into the blender move this over more okay next is going to be I mean it doesn't matter what order as long as everything's just in there evaporated milk Mm. Make sure all of this in there. Next is going to be cream of coconut. Comes out so thick at first, but then it's like, woo! <laughs> As you can see. Oh, I'm going to have to put the camera down so I can scoop this right out. Oh, so delicious. This is like. This is what makes it off. This is just the cream. It's just amazing. All right, hold on one minute. Put the camera down. Sorry. Okay, here we go. So you can see me a little better. Okay. So I'm just gonna take my spoon and scrape all this out. Scrape it all out, every single juice. At least that's what I do. Just, yeah, it's probably fattening. It's not, you know, but it's just a, you know, a tradition that we have. That's what we do on Christmas. I mean, you could do it probably any time that you want to, but. Sorry, I'm just trying to make the camera a little higher. There it goes. That's just something we do, of course. So, okay, next is going to be your condensed milk. Okay, 
all in there. Oh my god, I can smell that that rum. It's just amazing. Last year I had made this and trust me it was a failure. I did not use this recipe, of course. I used another recipe and it was just a complete disaster. I don't know. I don't know. I, I was using coconut milk. It was just too much coconut. You know, so I said no, I'm not gonna do that this time. I'm just gonna do it my way. <laughs> all that in there next what I'm gonna do is put a dash at least a teaspoon or two I mean you don't have to put too much because remember already I have already boiled the um, cinnamon stick so you know I will put at least a teaspoon perfect next I'm gonna put some of course Ta -da, the rum just to get it going. Can't put too much because of course my blender's not big enough. I need a new blender. This is so old. And here we go. You don't have to blend it for too long. This is not so everything gets mixed, you know, in like the coconut cream. You really want everything well mixed. At least I will. That's me. That's just me. Of course, I'm going to put that whole liquor in there, but. Ooh! The smell is delicious. Oh my gosh. Very delicious. I'm going to have a lot of happy family members. <laughs> Very. I'm going to pour some in this bottle because it's just it's so much. So much. Pour a little bit more liquor in there. You can always add more liquor if you want. It's all up to you, your taste, of course. You know, I we like it with a lot of liquor. We like to get toasted. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, it's the holidays. It comes only once a year. You gotta enjoy it. It's just amazing. It looks amazing. I wish I could fit all this liquor in there. Come on, right to eat. It's okay though. Just awesome. Delish. Oh my gosh, delish. Using a spoon because yeah, it's already it's way up there, but it's already well mixed. I'm just doing it so it can mix the liquor around. Oh my gosh. Not too sweet, but the sweetness is there. You know, it's just perfect. I'm using a funnel so it's easier for me to pour inside here in the container and I what I do I leave it in the freezer for a little not too long but just enough you know so it could get cool chilled and then sure that's good in there. and then um put it in the fridge leave it in the fridge and it's just an amazing drink. I mean, everybody really should try this. It's just awesome. There's another container I'm gonna fill. I might have to go and get some more ingredients just for the fact that I still have a lot of liquor left. And there's a lot of people that actually want some because this time I made it amazing. I'm so happy, proud of myself. Look at that, it's just not so creamy it's just perfect you know what I mean you don't want it thick I mean some people like it thick I don't like it thick I that's how it came out last year for me too thick and it was just bleh. this is just perfect yeah, be careful here I don't want to go over okay, make sure I put in so all I can like I need more, oh, there we go. I need more of these bottles. I have three, I have one in the freezer, plus these two. Crazy, huh? So yeah, here you go. I mean, it was simple. I will put all the ingredients in the bottom, in the bottom thing. <laughs> and trust me, you have to try at least, if you don't want to make too much, just, just a little bit. So you could, I mean, you will, you have to use all the ingredients in every amount how it says here but of course oh my gosh 
you will love it because of course look it's not it's not thick it's just perfect this is how it should be at least in my case that's how i like it well thank you so much for watching and um i will be making a video soon on how i make and season the you know, season and at least probably just season my bendy and then I'll show you the results of how it comes out. I'm trying something new, different, so it's Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. And bye. Thank you for watching.